Okay, I guess so we can start right here. Hey, ladies. Uh, so this is the first problem on the practice exam. Uh, calculate the molar mass of C5H12. Okay. So C5H12, that's a propane. Let's calculate the molar mass of it. So you can get the molecular weight of this compound just by looking at the periodic table. Okay? So the molecular weight, that's going to equal the amount of carbons. So carbons, you've got five of them. Right? And you add that to the amount of hydrogens. The hydrogens, you've got 12 of them. That way. And if you look at the periodic table, it tells you that carbon, its average atomic weight is 12.011 AMU. And then hydrogen's average atomic weight is 1.00794. multiply those two things together, then add them up. So let's do that. So 5 times 12.011, that equals 60.055 AMU. And 12 times 1.00794, Okay, 
So you could have done it this way if you want, if you like doing it the long way, okay? Or you can just do it this way. Oh, those are two different ways. Yeah. Okay. I thought that was like the whole problem. No, nope. <laughs> it's the same problem, two different ways. This is like the more precise thing, right? Okay. If you want to, you don't have to. No. Like I said, this is just this is more of an approximation. You know, that's like the long way to do it. Okay. But look, the the same answer, right? Essentially. Okay. So notice, this is an approximation, you know? Actually, this is an approximation too, because this number is approximate there. Okay. And it all depends really on what periodic table you use to get these numbers to where your sig figs are, you know? And honestly, on these types of problems, I really tend to not really care as much about sig figs. Not to say that I don't care, you know, but not as much. So that's how to do the first problem. I think the, the strange thing in this is, or the hard thing to remember in this problem is like, that it says molar mass, so we need to do grams per mole, okay, instead of AMU. Okay. 